as he bestows the Sussex title upon Lady Louise Meghan Morrow, the former Duce of Sussex, who was humiliated by King Charles by having her royal titles taken away and given to his niece, Lady Lou Windsor, Charles orders that Mag be referred to as the ex-Duchess. Since joining the royal family in 2018, Meghan who wed Prince Harry, the second son of the king has been embroiled in a number of scandals and controversies and has faced accusations of being disrespectful, disloyal, and harming the domestic monarchy. Since stepping back from royal duties in 2020, Meghan has lived in California with Harry and their two kids. The king has informed Meghan that she can never again use the title Duchess of Sussex and that she should be referred to as the former Duchess of Mrs. Marl, who signed lucrative contracts with Netflix. In addition to voicing contentious views on a range of political and social topics, Spotify and other media outlets have been accused of being ungrateful, self-centered, careless, and of exploiting and upending the ruling family in the nation. The King's decision, which has been widely publicized and praised by both royal fans and veterans, is a blow to Meghan's credibility and reputation. It also jeopardizes her hopes of continuing to have influence and ties with the royal family. Meghan has also been the subject of numerous scandals and controversies, such as her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2022, in which she made several allegations against the royal family, including racism, ethnicity, neglect, and bullying. She also disclosed that she had felt suicidal and was refused assistance by the palace, and that she had been trapped and unhappy in the royal system. Meghan attempted to contact and record with the royal family, especially when the king was ill, but she was met with hostility and refusal. Shocked, Meghan defended the king's decision and responded bitterly, accusing him of being unfair, cruel, and jealous of her success and happiness. Meghan tried to present herself as a normal and approachable person by doing silly and embarrassing things like dancing with mascots, playing pranks, calling vendors, eating hot sauce, and watching Ellen's DeGeneres show. She also claims that she was bullied, harassed, and slandered by the royal family and the British media and that she's been denied her rights and freedoms as a royal and as a human being. She also vowed to continue using the title Duchess of Sussex and fight for her and her fans because we're extremely hurt and disappointed by the decision of the king who showed no mercy or sympathy towards our plight and who acted with malice and jealousy towards us. We did nothing wrong but follow our hearts and dreams seeking a more peaceful and private life for ourselves and for our children. We've also used our platform and influence to raise awareness and support for issues we care about while inspiring and empowering people around the world. We've always respected and honored the royal family in the, the country. We've never intended to harm or sabotage them in any way. We also tried to reach out and reconcile with them, especially after the king's illness, but we were met with hostility and rejection. We will not accept this unfair and unjust decision, and we will not give up our title and influence as the Duchess of Sussex. We have earned that and we deserve it with this passion and dedication. We're proud to be the Duchess of Sussex. We will continue continue to use our titles to make a positive difference in the world. We also continue to stand up for ourselves and our rights and defend ourselves against the lies of the attacks we faced. We are grateful for the love and support of our fans and friends and we hope that they will stand with us in this difficult time. Public opinion was sharply divided by this judgment and its response. There are others who commend the king for his bravery, honesty, and for resisting my pranks and aspirations. Along with her haughtiness and stubbornness, they also blame Meghan for her ingratitude and betrayal. Because of their honor, devotion, and customs, they have also defended the family and the nation. Others denounce the king for his brutality and cruelty, as well as for taking Meghan's title away and awarding it to Lady Louise. They also share sympathy for Meghan's decisions and efforts, as well as her bravery and honesty. They also blame the nation and the royal family for being chilly and racist.